Hey guys, how's it going? I just wanted to take a break from the regular content today just because I felt like sharing some of my thoughts and experiences with you guys on a very specific guitar pick that I've happened to become very fond of lately. And that pick, of course, is the currently discontinued Wait, what the what? Fender California Clear Medium Guitar Pick. Now, I'm specifically talking about the medium versions of these picks, and not the ones with the palm trees on it, but I'll get there later. But for the sake of this video, we can talk about all of the California Clear guitar picks that Fender put out, alright? So first of all, let me just say that when it comes to these picks, I would still consider myself a noob. I've only really been aware that they even existed and have been playing with them for maybe about the last three to six months or something. So. I don't know if I'm going to come off like a noob to the guitar community talking about this pick or not, but either way, my hopes are that this video can hopefully increase the awareness and discussion around this pick, because when I went to look for information for it online, I was only able to find a very little amount of stuff, and I was kind of surprised by that, because now that I've experienced this pick, I must say that for me, there is an undeniable superior quality to these picks that you know, I can't even put my finger on it exactly, we'll talk about it, I don't know why, but uh, definitely better, in my opinion, for me, than, say, the more common part celluloid Fender Medium pick that is more common. So, you know, I would think that there would be more people talking about this. I know I can't be the only one who likes this pick. Now, although these picks aren't currently discontinued, of course, because everything I like, they always seem to stop making, but there are still some brand new packs available out there. And it's funny because my only real fear that I had about making this video is that demand for this pick would go up and this would become the Klon Centaur pedal of guitar picks, but screw it. Now, obviously, I'm not endorsed by Fender, but it would be great if this video caused enough interest and demand for this pick that they took notice and then they would start producing these picks again. Hopefully exactly the same. So if you are seeing this vendor and you are looking for someone to sponsor these picks or to really sell them and get behind, this is definitely a product that I could get behind. All right? And in addition, if there's any other uh, guitar pick manufacturers out there that are looking to produce some sort of California clear clone and also looking for somebody to, to give them input on that in terms of playability and feel, I'm your guy, all right? So that's it for the marketing. So, without further ado, it's time to get picky about guitar picks. So, prior to me really first starting to use this pick, I was already using the regular Fender Medium picks, and I'm sure some of you guys have already seen my video that I made about the Fender Medium pick, and I still think that all the stuff I say in that video is valid, it all still applies to this pick as well. This pick just happens to be a specific version of the Fender Medium that I happen to think is better. Alright, so the way that I had come to discover this pick started about a year ago, give or take, and I had gone out to see one of my guitar teachers and mentors, the great Rodney Jones. <laughs> So, in between sets, I was talking to him, and like we do sometimes when we're hanging out around people that we really admire and respect their experience and skills and knowledge, we may tend to say things to kind of show that, you know, we know what's up or whatever, kind of like virtue signaling. So, 
I must have mentioned to Rodney that I started using medium picks because for most of my guitar playing life, I was really playing heavy picks and Rodney uses a medium and a lot of the other great guitar players that I really like also use medium picks and I kind of wanted to let him know that now that I'm using a medium pick, I'm like, yeah, I get it now. So I don't really remember if he even said anything to me or what exactly he might have said, but what I do remember is that he reached into his pocket and he pulled out this and he handed it to me. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but yes, this pick is currently taped up now. I only did that for the video. That's one thing I'll say now about these picks that I don't like is that they can crack or break and that was one thing that I actually did find uh, information on the internet about. Other people were saying the same thing. My personal opinion on that is I don't really care as long as it's going to play and feel the way I want because if you change the materials and it didn't feel as good then I wouldn't want it anyway, alright? But that is one thing that I kind of don't like about these picks. But, you know, he handed it to me and... I still didn't even realize that this was a different kind of medium. I thought all Fender mediums, for the most part, were kind of like the same thing. What do I know, you know? So, like, basically, I had a bunch of other picks laying around, and I kind of just put it aside because I'm like, why do I need to play this one? I can kind of keep it around for sentimental reasons and, uh, you know, not let it get worn down and just kind of keep it as a memento. Not even knowing that all along it was basically like the Rodney Jones guitar pick of destiny for me. So basically for about the next year, this pick that I had was just laying around and I had no idea that it was different and a pick that I would eventually pick up and learn to love. So. You know, when it comes to even just the regular Fender celluloid mediums, and this is for any medium pick, one of the drawbacks for a lot of picks is that they just wear down after a while and they don't last forever, and then you pick up a fresh one and it feels a lot better usually. But, you know, if you haven't bought a new pair of picks in a while and just have the same old things laying around, sometimes you can go crazy trying to find one that feels good. And I could even go crazy to the point sometimes where I'll question, like, even if I have two different, like, colored celluloid ones, like, are they literally different, like, to the point of the color makes a difference? Probably not, but again, this is a thing about a discussion, so if anyone has anything to say, please put it in the comments. But, you know, I just wasn't happy with anything that I was picking up eventually, and one day I happened to find the Rodney Jones California Clear Pick, and I picked it up and I started playing with it. And it was not long before I really started to realize, like, there's something different about this pick. It's not just me. And the more I played on it, and the more I switched back and forth from, you know, the other mediums to his, and just comparing with certain things, like especially technical exercises where you can really become aware of the way things feel and sound and how fluid they are, um, I was convinced that these were definitely different. All right, so as far as a demonstration goes, for something like this, truthfully, I don't think I really can communicate to you guys what exactly I may be experiencing or feeling when I'm using this pick and the way that it feels against the strings and all that and actually have it translate over to a video medium clearly, all right? But this still may be helpful, you know, things may sound different a little bit or just by the way it feels for me to play it, I may articulate it better so therefore it may sound different. And as far as the sound of the picks go, because I haven't really mentioned that, you know, all picks definitely, you know, affect the sound as well, but that's not really one of the main reasons why I'm drawn to this pick. I don't have a problem with the sound, but it's really more about the feel and the articulation. So, if I just do something, like I said before, very technical, like a basic chromatic scale or something, this is with the celluloid Fender Medium, all right? So... And, you know, it's not like I can't do it. But it almost feels more like doled out, a little scrapey. You know, where this one, the articulation to me feels way better. Oh my god. You know, um, the, the flexibility-ness of it is like snappier, it's quicker. It's kind of hard to explain. If I were to do something like a musical phrase, there's the celluloid again, uh, something like... 
you know, even not getting it so nice, but with the California clear, you know, so obviously I have to play it good either way for it to sound good, but you know, maybe that'll help you, maybe not, but it definitely feels way better than the regular celluloid, to me at least. Now, I still had no idea that this was actually a different pick or what it was or anything, and I still had to find out what this pick was, but at least I was beginning to become aware that this was something else and this was something a lot better. Now, even though I had finally realized that this was indeed a different pick, I still had no idea what it was or how I would be able to figure out, you know, what exactly this Fender Medium pick was because, you know, this was the only pick that I had seen for the California Clear so far. I, I didn't even know that they had the palm tree one, so this one just has the Fender logo and the word Medium, so there's nothing really that easy on this pick that would allow me to identify it, right? Because what am I going to look for on the internet if I'm trying to figure out what this pick is? What's the name of this specific Fender Medium guitar pick that happens to be way better than all the other ones? So, thankfully, one day, I went into the music shop where I teach at, and I figured, hey, may as well ask the owner, maybe he knows what this pick is, he's been around. So I pulled out the pick, and I showed it to him, and luckily, he was able to figure out that it was a California Clear. And he said, hang on, I think I may have one of these laying around myself. So he looks at the picks that he had laying around the shop, and he was able to find this one that he gave me. Now this is the California Clear medium with the palm tree on it. This is a light green one, but they come in different colors. All right, now, again, I want this video to be like an open discussion so that anyone that has any information on these picks, you know, can put it here and we can all learn. Are these picks exactly the same? I don't know. To me, when I picked with this uh, palm tree one, it definitely didn't feel as good to me. Now, I don't know if that's because, you know, the materials are different. They don't feel different. They kind of feel like literally, you know, to the touch the same, but the way that they felt when they attacked the strings kind of felt a little different to me. So maybe they're different, maybe they're not. Um, another thing that I notice, maybe I get a little psychotic, is if I kind of put the two picks back to back, their dimensions may slightly be off, even if it's by like a fraction of a millimeter or something. I don't really know, but obviously that can affect the point or the tip, and that could have a difference on the playability and the feel. So again, if anyone has any certainty about any of this, please let us know. Could have also been because the palm tree pick was worn down and maybe it was just always like that for me, but I don't really even think it's that because even the Rodney Jones pick, I used that for a while and even as that was wearing down, you know, up until the point where it cracked, it still felt pretty damn good to me, so who honestly knows, but if anyone has any information on it, you know, please let us all know, right? This is an open discussion. This is a forum. I want everyone to be well informed on this so we can help each other out. So basically, I'm looking for information on materials, dimensions, um, even other picks that may be available currently that are legitimately comparable to these California clears that will give similar results. If you know any picks that are comparable, please let us know, all right? And I'll let you guys know, and Rodney had mentioned this before too, that there are some picks by Ibanez. Ibanez has like a George Benson style pick or, you know, signature pick that he happened to say had a really good point. I just haven't tried it yet, but maybe these Ibanez picks are the real deal. So that might be something else worth checking out. And I also saw on the Ibanez website that even Steve I has a signature pick as well, and I love Steve I too, of course, and obviously he's a technical giant, so hey, maybe the Steve I picks are great as well, but even with the materials, like I said before, you know, I know they have celluloid picks, I know they have Delrin, I thought that these could be like a Delrin plastic, as if I even know what that is, but the Delrin picks that I tried definitely felt different, so who honestly knows? So if anyone has any information on these picks, Please help us all out and let us know. All right, so I'm just gonna leave it there today. Like I said, this one I really want to be an open discussion. So any questions or comments or anything, helpful information, 
please put it in the comments. I'm definitely interested to hear what everyone has to say when it comes to this pick. And in the next episode, hope you're ready for the next episode. Hey. I'm gonna be returning back to the topic that I've been recently discussing, working on jazz vocabulary and individual phrases from a technical point of view. So all that good stuff. And if this is the first video you've ever seen on this channel, that's usually what the channel is. It's more jazz guitar educational based. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, please check it out. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a like and consider becoming a subscriber as well as a contributor to Patreon for only $5 a month where you'll get all the PDFs that come out on this channel. And if you think anyone else would enjoy the content, please share it with them as well. And I will see you guys in episode 70. Swinging and playing the blues. That's what we that's what we about. I try to help you.